Hello, I am Chandu Chadula. I am pursuing my BTEC in Centurion University, Parala Kimundi. I have registered chip design and fabrication using VLSA as my domain in my fifth semester. I have done a project on it. The name of the project is ASIC implementation of 32 bit RISC V processor. I have learned about analog VLSA, digital VLSA, and ASIC design in my VLSA domain. The project mainly based on ASIC implementation. So, according to the ASIC flow and the ASIC design, the processor has been done. We will see the architecture of RISC V processor. The data is fetched from the memory unit. Then it is decoded in the control unit. The control unit executes the decoded instruction. Similarly, the cycle continues. Here we have fetch, decode, execution, register file which stores the data. Using data bus instructions and the data are transferred. Let's see the block diagram. The instruction memory is a part of data path unit. The data path unit decodes the instruction and sends the opcode to the control unit. According to the opcode, the control unit controls each and every block. It will give instruction to memory read, memory write, PC write and register file write. The register file outputs are given to ALU. According to the opcode, the inputs for ALU are operated and the result is stored again into the register file as well as into the SRAM. According to the PC write command, the PC uh, program counter increments uh, the value. According to the increment, it fetches the data from the register file as well as SRAM and it fetches the instruction memory. According to the instruction memory instruction, the ALU operates each and every block. Let's see the ASIC flow. Start the ASIC flow. Specification of the project. RTL coding. Next functional simulation of each and every block. Next synthesis of the processor, we need to see the timing reports uh, in timing simulation where we get in the process of synthesis. Then we will go for backend design where we start the backend design of floor planning, next power planning, next placement, CTS, routing, next we check the design rule checker, DRC and LVS layout versus schematic. We will extract RC and we will generate the final GDS file that is sent to the foundry for the final chip fabrication. The main objective is to design the RISC-V processor and fabricate it from the generated GDS file. ASIC implementation of 32-bit RISC-V processor. We have to import required files and libraries. After importing, we need to enter the commands uh, for opening the code editor. The command for opening code editor is gedit. Here we write the code for control unit. After writing the code, we are going to save this as control unit dot v as it is a very log file. Now we are going to save instruction memory I have written the code and it's been saved as instruction memory dot v similarly you have to save all the blocks of the risk processor like alu sram gprs using nc launch we can compile elaborate simulate any model so we need to check the functional simulation of the risk processor so for that we need to enter the code nc launch new here we need to include according to the steps after that first thing we need to compile all the all the blocks individual blocks and check for errors if if no errors we need to elaborate them if still there are no errors we can simulate the test bench code it should be sent to the waveform window to see the functional simulation in simvision window here we can see the waves the waves represents the output signal for a certain opcode according to the instruction the alu is operated the for the first operation the alu operation is done for addition we need to set the path the files like rc script file and default.view we need to select the path of the libraries and copy them and paste them in the rc script file and other required rc script files we need to set the name of the netlist file that should be generated after the synthesis process this is done in default.globals file in default.view file we need to paste the path of the libraries we use RTL compiler to generate RTL schematic. To open RTL compiler, we need to write the command rc -f -rc underscore script dot tcl space hyphen gui. It opens the RTL compiler. Here we can see the main block RTL schematic and the data path unit consists of instruction memory, SRAM, general purpose registers, ALU and ALU control. And control unit is a block that controls each and every block of data path unit. We can see the reports of timing report, area report and power report here that is generated in the process of synthesis. It in at least file also generated in this. Let's start backend design. Here in the backend design first floor plan, power plan. After several steps, the backend design is finished. We need to enter the command encounter. The encounter window opens and here we can start the backend design. Here we need to import the design. In design import, we need to import the netlist file that is generated in the process of synthesis as well as the default globals file. 
we need to specify the floor plan we need to add rings we need to add power rings that is vdd power supply and ground vss and we need to set the width and the spacing between each and we need to add the strips we can see the strips we need to route them the nano routing is done between the power rings and after routing we need to place before placing we need to check the pre-placement timing analysis we have got positive slack so proceed to placement we have placed the standard cells we need to see pre-cts timing we have got negative so we need to optimize the design after optimizing design for timing analysis we got the positive slack so we can further proceed so we are going to clock tree synthesis we need to add all the clocks and click ok all the clocks are added we need to see the post cts timing analysis we have got positive slack for setup mode as well as we need to see hold mode positive slack for hold mode so we need to further proceed for nano route here after nano route if there are no errors we can further proceed to timing analysis if you get error set the error and find the timing analysis as you got the positive slack we will further proceed to we can see the spaces between each and every metal so we need to fill them we need to fill them to fill that we need to add fillers in that one we need to fill fill 4 16 and 2 and add them and fill them in each and every space where they are going to fill we can see there will be no gaps we need to generate delay report that is risk 32 bit sdf file after we need to extract rc we need to save the design in netlist file as risk encounter.b further uh, save the file as gds file we will write the file name as risk.gds this is the final file which is sent to the foundry for the final chip fabrication finally we need to verify the geometry of the design here we can see no violations and warnings so the geometry is verified this is the final physical chip design of the RISC-V processor that followed the ASIC flow thank you